Okay guys, so we've been through the footage that we had from the wave pool and I've stumbled across two waves. Is that good even the birds are singing? I've stumbled across two waves that we're gonna be able to learn so much from. There is me doing a top turn versus Clay doing a top turn. This is intermediate versus advanced. What are the differences? What makes Clayton's top turn so much better than mine? We're gonna break that down. So grab yourself a notepad, grab yourself a cup of tea because you're gonna strap yourself in. The gold that is about to be dropped in this video is gonna blow your mind. So let's go and find Clayton. Let's put it on the iPad and let's find out what the difference is between intermediate and advanced. Okay, so the reason why this is gonna be such a great breakdown of a top turn on the forehand side is the footage that we've got was taken when we were surfing at the wave pool recently. So what we're gonna be doing is comparing my turn to Clay's turn. Now what you've got to bear in mind here is we're both surfing exactly the same wave. The, the, the board is it's exactly the same board as well, apart from mine's just a little bit longer for my height, a little bit more volume, but the board shape so basically the board model is exactly the same. So the only thing that is different in this is the fact that it, it's the way that I use my body, the way that I'm using my mind as well, versus the way that Clay does it. And you're gonna see a huge, huge, huge difference. So I'm really excited to share this with you. When this, when I saw these, these, these two videos, I was like, wow, we've got to share this with the community. So let's bring the iPad up and then, and then you can go through this. So obviously I am the one on the left, Clay is the one on the right. How but do you want to skin this cat? Do you just, want me to just play it? Just go through it and be uh, be really brutal and be really honest and really highlight what those key differences are between what I'm doing versus what you're doing. I've already gone through this with Clay and I've learned so, so, so much. I'm super excited to share this. Yeah, I know the setting, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to get it identical, but I am noticing that... Um, my wave's hardly broken. Your wave's already broken. Mm -hmm. And I'm almost down the wave already on a wave that hasn't quite broken yet. It looks like you got hung up at the top. Okay. Okay. Yep. So it, it's a, a big thing on the takeoff because you do want to get into the wave and down the wave. Yeah, it, it, by the way, it does come clear in a moment. It's just where, where Nico panned back quickly. It's just a little bit blurred. So it will come into well, focus okay, in Okay, so even, even that's sort of put over there, yeah. all right? So can you see my waves hasn't broken yet? But I'm in a position where my chin's up, I'm on the rail, and it still looks yeah. like you're traveling down and your waves are really broken. Well, I look really flat in comparison to you. Yeah. So if we just go another little screenshot. I mean, even if you're looking at it, you can't see the nose of my board. You can see the nose of your board. I don't know if that's a thing. Well, why would you lose speed going downhill? Why would you lose speed going downhill? Yeah. So, I, so basically we're going down a wave. Yeah. But I've got down it almost ahead of the wave. You're getting hung up and landing at the bottom of the wave at the same, same time of the wave. Okay. And now you're getting caught up in all this, this foam. Mm -hmm. I think that's because I'm, I'm pretty flat on my takeoff. Yes. Okay. So I think you're just standing, but you're not actually initiating um, movement to go down. No. Okay. So the more on rail you are, the earlier you, you kind of connect with the wave's energy. Yeah. And the more the wave will draw you and pull you down the face. Yeah. And if we look at it, let me draw a couple of things here. So my hand is, is up by my knee, by my waist sort of thing, whereas your hand is almost done touching the face of the wave. Yes, so what that suggests is that I'm actually engaging my toes, which engages the rail, and it engages my inside toe edge fin. Yeah. Right, your board's flat, so um, it's not going to start accelerating and driving mm. until much later. The other thing as well is Whereas you're looking at the bottom drawing up. You're I'm, trying to stick the table. I'm, I'm looking at my foot just going, please don't fall off the front of the board. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So straight away from the get-go, you can see that my mind is in a different place. I'm not yeah. worried about the takeoff. I'm actually going to, while, while Clay talks, I'm actually going to play it for you, the whole thing. We will move it. Oh, Clay disappeared out of shot there. All right. You'll probably yeah, minimise it a bit more. Might be easier. Oh. Here we go. If I make them smaller, let's take them both all the way back. Okay, so we'll start from here. Okay, so 
I did oh, keep... This is such a big difference. We can learn so much from this. I'm, I'm, we're, we're, we're four minutes, four and a half minutes in. I'm, I'm really excited already. I don't, we haven't even got to the, the goldy, goldy, gold bit yet. We're still mining. Okay, so have a look at the... I know we've gone past the turn, but your setup is stand on the board. Yeah. I've gone past the turn. Look at how I'm leaning into the next turn already. Yeah. Okay, so you, you definitely spend too much time in your, let's call it your comfort zone, where you're just standing on the board. And then you're waiting to get comfortable, and then you want to throw your turn down. So let's go back over here. Yeah, yeah, but I think we're jumping ahead of ourselves a bit there. Yeah. Now, there it is again. The difference is you're standing on the board. I'm initiating movement. I'm leaning. Yeah. Okay. So I often talk to you about being connected. And I'm saying, hey, you're just standing there. You need to like lean into the wave. You need to feel the wave. You need to be connected. It needs to be like body surfing where, yeah. you, where you can feel it. Right, so I don't think you feel it there. Now, um, I've got my hand up there. I'm, I'm feeling quite light. And then I, I'm compressing. And I'm almost eyeing out where I want to go and what I want to do. So I'm, I'm pretty much looking at the part of the wave where I think I need to turn at. All right. You're looking at it. I feel, I feel like I'm looking at it still. Yeah, but your body language says something different. You've made yourself heavy. You haven't, you're not making yourself light. Okay. Do, do, you, do you know the, what I mean by that? Yeah, uh, yeah, your board's got this kind of energy that's ready to go whoop, back up the wave, whereas mine's well, got... It's we, we look similar. I mean, you could probably copy and paste each other. It's, it's, it's fairly similar. I'd say the you look more relaxed than I do. Yes. You've got tension, and that tension makes you heavy. Okay. Okay. Now, we both are our lines. So let's see who hits their mark. So at the end of the turn, I'm a lot higher. And look how close I am to the foam. So look at my trajectory line. If you, if you zoom into the foam there, and we zoom into the line over here. We had a similar bottom turn, but how come my line is a little bit more higher and your line is a little bit more kind of safer? And also look how close I am to the foam and how far away from the foam you are. Mm. Okay, that, that is a massive, massive factor. Because I'm closer to the foam, the, the wave's a bit more steeper. And can you see the angle of my board? Yeah. Because you're... Away from the foam, the wave's softer, and you're standing on the board. Yes, yeah, so you can't from so from the, the, the camera is exactly the same place for both of these waves, and you can see the top of Clay's board. So if you see the difference there, let me just pull around a bit. Oh, oh no, drawing the lines. Oh. Hang on a minute. Oh, what's going on here? Let's clear that. I try and move me across. There we go. Okay, so if you have a look at the two different um, angles, you can actually see the bottom of my board. And I'm using my rail to turn. Because you're standing on the board, you're pushing on the back foot mm. and you're actually losing speed. Yeah, there's also a lot of tension in that hand there. You can, you can see that it's, 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 it's like a spade, like, it's like, it's like, uh, like rigid. Okay, so it, let's put handlebars. Let's go a little bit further yeah, back. The, the, this bit's this my favorite bit. Okay, so let's put handlebars between your hands. So look, look at what your hands are saying. Yep, flat. And then the board's flat. Yeah. So if you look at my hands and my board, it's the same. Is like this? This to me is absolute gold. And so we, we saw this video a couple of couple of days ago, and I'm going to be using the skateboard ramp to fix these these hands. If you've seen the the urban surf wave pool video, you will have heard me talking about how when we watched the footage back, I didn't like what my arms were doing. This is what my arms were doing. And this is what I was really unhappy about was the fact that my hands are constantly horizontal. I'm not actually yeah. bringing my hands up and going vertical with my hands. And that's what's gonna be the big, big game changer as well as all the other stuff that's in here. Can you see how flat your right hand is? Yep. And, and the angle of my hand. Yeah. And then look at your left hand. It's, it's a fist. Yeah. So you hold all that tension in your, in your left hand. Mm. And I think when you turn, you're going to close your left hand. Yeah. Whereas I'm going to open. So when we do do these turns, let's see what the body, what the top half of the body is saying. So when I do my turn, see my hands kind of 
Let's keep, keep you in screen. Look how far back my left hand is. So yeah. this one over here. Look it's also the thumb's kind of rolled rolled over. Yep. Whereas mine has stayed thumb in now, towards now you've, the belly button. You've bent your wrist back. Yeah. And you've almost locked your hand. So you your struggle to turn past that arm. Okay. So the, the big issue there I'm finding is your hand. Now also look at your look at my arm positioning. I've got one up, one down. You got them pretty much flat. Yep. So in terms of driving a car, if you do that on the wheel, it'll turn. You're not really putting any turning on the steering wheel, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Or even if it was an aeroplane banking, like you, you barely turning. It's 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 subtle. Yeah. Okay. Then look at that. That's when I'm finished my turn. I level my hands. Now you ride a bicycle, you turn, mm. level the hands. That's me leveling my hands. Yeah, if you, so if you watch my body now, I, I suddenly look like I've got a coat hanger in my wetsuit and my, my, my shoulders suddenly come forward. I look really hunched. If we keep going forwards a little bit, okay. it, my, my position gets really and bad. Take a look at this. Look at that. All right. And hang, on, hang on a minute. Let's, let's, give, let's, let's, give, let's give me an opportunity here. Let's get all my spray. <laughs> okay, minimize that a little bit. And... It's there. So I'm doing a way bigger arc than what you're doing. But you've got a heart advantage. You've got a weight advantage. In theory, you should be throwing buckets more spray than what I'm throwing. You've got a knowledge advantage. Come on, let's give me some credit here. <laughs> well, okay. I'm using my body correctly and there's less tension. Yep. So it's almost like this is the golf swing effect. Yeah. You take the tension out of the turn, you're going to displace more water. You put tension into the turn, you're actually going to slow down. Okay, so if we watch your turn here, see how you slow down, you cut it short? Yeah, and, and this is right, so I'm talking about where I look like I've got a, a coat hanger in the back of my wetsuit. Let me, let me bring us in there. I have, I hold a lot of tension. It's, it's something which, is, which I can't seem to get rid of and it's annoying me. Right, now this is what's interesting for me. You saw my takeoff position. Yeah. I've gone... Full turn straight into my takeoff position. And it looks like I've just taken off again against the wall. Yeah. All right, I'm, my nose is clear of the foam. I'm on rail. My arms are up. And it's almost like I've reset straight back and waiting for the wave to stand up. Yeah. Now, if you have a look at your takeoff position, remember I initially I said it looks like you're getting hung up and you're getting down the wave later. So when I see this, you're hung up. See, see how you're stalling, you hung up, hung up, hung up, and you almost, by the time you've got down to the wave, it's kind of like the waves, the best part of the wave is gone already, you yeah. missed it, you're playing catch yeah. up. And, and that tension, you, you, if you just look at my hand, every single time. Look at your left it's like hand, it's, it's, it's a fist, <sighs> all right? Look at, look at my, my left hand, it's really relaxed, yeah. shoulders are up. So, Ready. I mean, we just got, sorry, we just came back from, from a session out on the longboard. It was really small this morning. And even then, I felt that tension again. And did you see me stand up on that wave? And I actually, when I stood up, I actually shook my hand to remind myself that I need to just relax. This, this, this tension shows up everywhere, but it shows up in so many intermediate surfers. So what's interesting, I'm doing longer lines than you, mm -hmm. yet... I got to the end of my turn quicker and I was able to reset and get more work done Yeah. with more speed. You cut your turn short, you lost speed, and you get back to your reset later. Yeah. Okay, so see how you were worried about maybe missing the wave and you're watching down the line, but that made you miss the wave. Mm. I committed to the fuller turn and that set me up for the rest of the wave. Yeah. So th there's something to be said for when you start doing the advanced lines, it helps you surf better. Yeah. Okay, when you do the intermediate lines, it takes away from your surfing. It causes yeah. anxiety, it causes the stress, it, it makes your body tighten up. Yeah. yeah, I mean, while I'm, I'm still working on these lines. There was a, a couple of times at the wave pool where I, where I felt that maybe I might have just started to tap into it a couple of times. And you can feel the difference. All of a sudden, you feel yourself being 
you get this speed and you're like, whoa, where did that come from? It's so way, this is amazing. But being able to tap into that all the time is something which I'm still working on. And as I say, it, it happened occasionally and it was like, okay, what actually happened in those moments? But here, I mean, bringing the iPad back up again, what I, and, and correct, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that this bit here where Clay's got his arms up and I'm horizontal, I think, for me, that is the that is that is some gold there, which is something that's really easy to work on. And I guess so, go so that's why I don't want too many people to surf skate in the street. Yeah, because surfing is three dimensional. It's like you'd never do flight simulation and and get someone to drive a car and going okay, let's do flight simulation. You mm -hmm. drive this car. It's like you, you want to go three dimensional. Yeah, let's let's bring this up full screen a minute. Um, so look, there's there's loads of takeaways within this, the, from from the lines that, that we're taking, the being relaxed in your body. What I really want to just sort of dive into a little bit here is this this hand positioning, this left to right horizontal versus a vertical, and as you said, street skating is while street street skating is really fun. Uh, you get your surf out and you go down the street and you go around in and out of cones. So it's that, training you almost so to and surf let's, this let's way. Let's zoom out. Okay, how come I didn't surf down off the wave and start looking for cones down here? Because that's what street skating would be, right? Off the wave into the flats yeah. and start going through cones. Mm. It's not that. It's not. No. S and no. so if you, are, if you are using a surf skate, what you've got to be really careful of with surf skates is that the training that you're doing on the flats is the right training because you could be training in bad habits. Instead, with this kind of thing where we want to learn to be able to get more vertical with our hands, it's really important that we then go into the bowl. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another video and we're actually gonna show you the training that I'm gonna go through in order to fix this issue. So that next time I'm out surfing, next time I'm at the wave pool, I should be able to get more vertical. So and video analysis is such a good tool yeah. for identifying an issue. It's not gonna make you fix it. No. The reason being you're uncomfortable in this tension. So what we gotta do is I gotta put you on a skate ramp and I have to go go higher until I see you uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> and then I've got to go, all right, now, relax, breathe, fix the hands. And then you've got to do the reps. And as soon as you master that, I'm going to go, okay, go higher, get more uncomfortable. Mm. So you become, become comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah. And then you'll be able to focus on your technique. Yeah. So we're going to, as I say, we're going to create a second, uh, another video around that. So keep your eye out for that. Uh, also, if you do want to dive into this even more, so skating on the street has, has th th there are some great trainings that you can do for skating on the street. It's not to be discounted, there is some stuff there. And we've got everything that you need to know in the Surf Smart course. Once you've got the fundamentals down, you need to get your skating into a bowl, which is something that we also cover in the Surf Smart course. Now, if you want to find out more about that, then head over to the website on b.co. But keep your eye out for the, for the video. Just hit that, that subscription button, hit that notification bell. The, this, this other video will be out within the next week. We're going to head out onto the ramp. We're going to get something filmed, put that out to show you how we're going to correct this issue in my surfing of surfing flat versus going vertical. But guys, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got a lot of value out of it. I was super pumped when I saw these videos. I knew that there was some gold in here that we can deliver out to the community. Love to hear your feedback. Comments below. Is there anything that you can see? Are you surfing left to right? Leave some comments in the section below and we'll see you in the next video.